does win T50 as a first grade coach feel? Yeah, you mentioned that before the game. I didn't know. Um, <clears throat> every win's nice. I enjoy more. So what was the best part of that win? Probably our uh, determination in defence that uh, we had a lot of grit. <clears throat> first question I asked a couple of boys in the key positions what was our talk like when we were running the pump there um, on our goal line. Um, I think that was a, um, for me, the, the resilience in their defence. <coughs> just to talk about that start, I mean, the, the side just seems so switched on. I think it was sort of nine of the first ten sets, really rolling 14 now. What did you see in that first 15 minutes? Same thing, I always see here. Uh, we always get out to the lead here and <clears throat> do really well. Something we've spoken about um, through the off-season, especially this week, that um, you know, we, we have to be better once we get, to, get into a lead. Um, and I thought we were. You know, they bounced back to 14-12, was it? Mm. Um, through some good play from the chorus out. <clears throat> but you know, it's, I've seen this before. Then try and find the, the the cheap try or the you know, um, put a you know, put some play on where it's it's against what we've been practicing or the grain of the, the process what we need to stick to sticking to the plan was great and it's easy to say but it's hard to do and I guess um, Zach Zach Hosking sort of showed the the home fans exactly why you guys brought him here as well yeah I, I think Zach and Morgan. Uh, both shown in the last two games that they've made us a better team. I guess what is it about, um, I guess, Zach that, that um, has made you a better team? You've seen it. Now, I guess Morgan as well. Oh, no, I'm not being dis disrespectful there, but <clears throat> well, I knew what Zach was going to bring to us before he played. A lot of other people don't. And Morgan as well, I guess uh, a lot of people wouldn't have known much about him, but I think full 80 minutes and um, I don't know, it didn't even look like he, looked like he could have played another, another half or something as well. Yeah, well, I, I said him at half time, just give me a real big 10 minutes here, I'm going to give him a spell. <laughs> I said him after the game, that was the best 10 minutes I've seen. <laughs> I, had to, I had to leave him on there, he ended up playing left uh, back row. Yeah. Left back row with Oscar having to go out to the centre, so they're both defending together there. Joe. Sorry. No, you were. Uh, how did you sum up uh, the performance on the whole? And I guess what was the chat uh, when they uh, did get back to 14 12? What was the talk amongst the boys to, to lift again? Yeah, I think we've talked about it all, all week. Um, we wanted to make uh, this home ground our fortress and, and make our winning record at home better. Um, that was uh, part of our conversations, getting back to how we play and, and uh, not playing like we used to, like Stick just touched on. Uh, we want to get back in that grind. We knew it was going to switch a little bit. Uh, we just need to make sure that we can switch it back. <coughs> Corey Horsburgh and I believe Elliot Whitehead available for selection next week. Uh, that leaves you with some pretty hard choices. Um, in the reserve grade side today, we saw at least six to eight first graders playing there. Do you enjoy that sort of hard decision? Well, I, I don't enjoy the decision. I don't. I, I, it makes me uncomfortable because I know firsthand what it's like. But secondly, I know that everyone's, uh, you know, they're all my mates, and I, I don't like letting anyone down. Um, but that's the job, and secondly, like the Canberra Raiders are allowed to have depth. Um, you know, it, it amazes me what a lot of people think about this club. But we're allowed to have more than 17 good players. Ricky, how, how's Seb? Seb after the HIA? Um, <clears throat> I, don't, I, I don't think he's any good. Oh, when I say any good, sorry, I, I think he'll probably miss next week, is what I'm hearing. But I, as I said, just when he's going there, confirm it. Because I don't know, but I, I don't think Seb is uh, going to be right for um, uh, what is it, Warriors. D disappointing given the way that him and Xavier just look really to be clicking really well. Yep. Yeah, they are. They're, they're two brothers. They're, they're two good mates, you know. So good playing with a guy you've got a relationship with. Same as Joe and Josh. <clears throat> I was going to start Josh on, on, on the bench last week. Papa. But Tap said, no, I want to start with you. So, that's what I do it. I roll with it. Um, Sebi and Xavier come and speak to me about, uh, well, Xavier spoke to me first about <clears throat> him wanting to play left wing because he's got a relationship with, with Sebi, which, which 
got me a bit shitty because <laughs> I said, mate, you can play whatever you want. You've got talent. Because it's, 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 it's all you. It's all him. So he's got, to, he's got to have a bit more belief in himself. And he's maturing now, <clears throat> Xavier. Uh, I spoke to Fox about it before the game. Sorry, back on Morgan. Um, were you surprised at all at how sort of quick he took to the NRL? All the Morgan, were you surprised at how quick he sort of transitioned to the NRL? Oh, no, I, I knew he was going to um, be an NRL player when we signed him. Um, Joe could probably talk more about what he's like playing on the field with him, but um, we, we were very confident he was going to be our 13. But he has handled the... It's very similar to Elliot White, Elliot Whitehead when he came in. Elliot played here in 35, 6 degrees or whatever it was, and he played 80 minutes. And <clears throat> first time I think he's only about two beers after a game that he was stuffed. But um, he... Uh, He's very, very similar to Elliot, how he's transitioned from Super League to the NRL. Yeah, and I, I was surprised. I didn't know Morgan's only 23, so he's, he's got a huge career in front of him. Um, he's done a lot over the Super League. Um, and I think some of the Super League guys need a bit more credit. Um, they have, especially them Pommy Fords, they're tough when they come over. So, um, yeah, it's, it's real good playing with him. He, he does a lot of that cover-up cover up these stuff. Sorry, you said that you're confident you'd see him. Uh, he um, would be your 13 then. Is that... Going forward, what you see him as, or are you not sure yet? Morgan? That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he's definitely up there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Corey. Corey's got the ability to play 13 in front row. I, personally, I see Corey. Um, 13, it depends on how you want to play your game. Um, Corey Horse was a uh, origin player. Corey Horse was a uh, wonderful, wonderful middle. And today, it depends on the athlete you've got, the footballer you've got, in regards to how you want to play the game. And um, you know, Corey, Corey comes in at 13. He's not too dissimilar to um, uh, to Morgan because he's got a wonderful pass on him as well. But Corey's a bigger frame, bigger body, and he's got a, he's got a wonderful big tough carrot. You were uh, being up to sleep a lot, but you were pretty happy when uh, Strange went over for that try today. Uh, he's developing into quite a footballer. Yeah. Uh, well, we knew he was going to be a footy player. Um, I was happy for him and his family. His defence is absolutely special. Yep. That's how he's got the pick over K.A.? Um, <clears throat> K.A.'s a good footballer too. As I said, we're allowed to have more than 700 good players at the race. I'm not sure how to ask this, but is well, it don't. sort of tough, <laughs> tough preparing today? There's a bit of a, a pungent aroma um, down here in the new stadium. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I feel sorry for those people there with the, the, the stench. But shit, like, I know people laugh at it, but we are the capital of Australia. And the, the stadium administration and the stadium people here are wonderful people. They accommodate us so well. Milton O'Brien and all his team are really, really good people. They, and Canberra, deserve a new stadium. It's, it's absolutely crap that they don't build a stadium to look after Canberra's people. And I'm all for education, I'm all, all for hospitals, um, 100%, but we, we have to have some common sense. Uh, there, was, there was a concert here last week that people went to, and all the buses stopped and people were stranded. Like honestly, poli politically, and I'm, I'm uneducated in politics, which I'm very happy about, but politicians should, learn a little bit off sport. Because I believe there's a lot of good leaders in sport. 